We're going to look at YOLO. YOLO is a way to classify multiple images in, in, inside of an image. So what we're going to do here, we're going to use YOLO v5, and YOLO v5 is now supported by a startup company. YOLO 1 through 3 were done by an individual researcher who actually had a TED Talk on YOLO. So it's a very, very amazing technology. Joseph Redman was the original creator. So here you can see I have an image of me. This is from a while back, um, before I had a beard. And that is, that's my English bulldog. You can see that when I run it through... I can label things. So it's seen the microwave, it's seen me as a person, it's seen the dog, it's seen the oven. There's some bottles actually over there, decorative sort of bottles. And you can make use of, of YOLO for this. Now YOLO, there's a couple of steps used to actually install it. And I suggest if you want to use this to complete the assignment, that you do run this in Colab because I have the really nice install scripts all set up for you. I, I modify these for any changes that come up in Colab. If you want to install it yourself, follow the instructions for, for uh, YOLO v5, which they provide at the GitHub repository that I included a link to. Now, you can, if your GPU is fast enough, you can actually run this in real time and watch things be, be classified around you. I'm showing you an example of that. So when you run YOLO, what it's going to do is give you basically this pandas list back and the coordinates, the X and Y for the upper left, the X and Y of the bottom right. And that gives you those bounding boxes that I had, the confidence. So how sure it is, it thinks that something is a class number and then the name of what it identified there, be it a microwave, a person, a dog, etc. Looking at calling it a uh, you can also sum these up just using basic group by sort of thing and see the total number there. That will be very useful for the module five assignment. Fundamentally, all you're doing here is calling the YOLO model with the name of the image that you, that, that you obtained. And we're getting the results in the X, Y, X, Y. So the two points, and as a pandas data frame. There's other techniques that you can use to get these as well, but this gets these to you in the form of pandas. This works similar to the pre-trained networks that we saw before, and this is pre-trained. The weights are provided to you as well. You can also fine tune this just like all of them if there's something specific that you're looking for. Thank you for watching this video, and if this was useful, please click the like button, subscribe to the video, and uh, that way you will be up to date on any future videos that I add for this course. Thank you for watching.